Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this in video. In this video, I am going to write a program to demonstrate what is a dictionary class in Java and what is the relationship between dictionary class and hash table in Java. And we are going to see some of the methods which is coming under dictionary class. Basically, let's say put off null keys and null values, how we can able to get the value of the given key, how to check whether the given dictionary class is empty or not, how to remove an element from the dictionary class, how to know the size of the dictionary class and also we are going to iterate over the elements inside the dictionary class and we are going to manipulate it. Not only like that, also I am going to uh, explain this program by running it in a debug mode so you guys will get in and out of how it actually internally works. Let's get started. I have already written a program to demonstrate how the dictionary class works. So let me go and run this program in a debug mode so that we will go in and out of how it actually stores the data in a hash table. As we know that like dictionary is a class meaning like it is an abstract class. Basically we are going to create a uh, object for the implemented class which is nothing but hash table. So what does it mean? So it means like you know we are going to create an object for the hash table basically like dictionary class object but actually it is internally it is using hash table. So if I want to go and run this program in a debug mode, what I should do is first I need to uh, add the um, toggle point breakpoint. So if I click double click on here, so it is going to run from here. Then I have to go to the run and then debug as then Java application. So once I go there, it will ask to switch it over to the perspective. So I will say yes. So switch. Okay, here you go. So now you guys can see three different panels like one is the variables. The other one is actual Java code and the other one is like, you know, how we are actually navigating to the um, Java code. So in the top, you will see like a couple of arrows where you can step in and step out. So what does it mean is like, you know, this is the way that you can debug any Java code in Eclipse. So when you run this program, like in step by step, you can able to see how it actually go through here. So let me run this. So right now our, uh, the pointer is like in the line number 25 where it says like dictionary d is equal to new hash table of right so here we are trying to create a object for the hash table so when i say you know um step over so it actually uh, process that particular line and actually if you guys see here in the variables i can see the d so d is nothing but the object which we created for the dictionary and inside this there is a table created and if you guys see here the table got created with uh you know size 11 from 0 to 10 so these are the buckets so each bucket has is going to store the data and let's say now I'm going to again step over, meaning like I'm going to run the next line. So line by line uh, execution is kind of nothing but like debugging. So now I'm going to run it one more time. Okay, if you guys see here, so this line number 27 says, you know, d dot put off 100 comma red. So what does it mean? So 100 is the key, red is the value. So on the 100th key, we have to add the value to red. As we know that like hash table actually stores the data based on the hash code of the keys. So here the hash code of the key, let's say 100. So 100 is the key or uh, like um, data which you are adding. And if you guys see hash table, right, it is actually created by default like initial capacity of 11. So 100 modular 11, so which is equal to 1. And that is the reason if you guys see here in the right side from 0 to 10, actually it stores the data of 100 comma red in the uh, bucket number 1. If you guys expand this one, you guys can see the hash is 100 and the value is red. And if you guys again uh, step over to the next line, meaning like executing the next line. Um, okay, now this line has executed, line number 28 has been executed. So D dot put off 200 comma black. So now I'm trying to add 200 as a key and black is the value. And for the 200, the hash code is like 200 modular 11 is equal to two. So it means like it is going to store it in the second bucket. And that is why you guys see here highlighted the second bucket with yellow color. If I expand this one, the bucket number two, you can see the bucket 2 is having like a hash of 200 and the value is black and similarly i'm going to step over to the next line okay so now it executed this line like uh, uh, put off uh, 10 comma white so basically here it actually added the data in the 10th bucket because 10 modular 11 is equal to 10 so if i see here uh, in the 10th bucket the hash is 10 and the value is white so what does it mean so here dictionary actually like uses the hash table internally and it is storing the same uh, like hash table the way how it actually stores the data is based on hash code of the keys. This is how it actually internally works. And after that, if you guys see here, um, so now I'm trying to print the value of uh, the uh, dictionary class. You guys can able to see in the console. Um, let me do here. Okay. 
If you guys see here, entries inside the dictionary class is 10 equal to white, 200 equal to black and 100 equal to red. So this is how it actually uh, you know stores the data in the order. And now I am trying to see uh, what is the uh, if I want to get the next value. Let's say if I want to get the value of 10. So what is the value for 10? So if you guys see here, these are the list of keys, right? 10 equal to white. So if I pass the key, then I am going to get the value. So if I pass 10, I am expecting the value should be white. So let me step it over. And now step over again. Yeah. So get the value for the key 10, which is equal to white, which means correct, right? And also there is a method that I can use it uh, d dot is empty. So is empty actually checks um, whether the given uh, dictionary is empty or not. So I'm step it over one more time, which prints uh, just a debug line. And now it is going to return false. So basically it return false is dictionary is empty is false because it actually contains the data. Now I'm trying to remove some of the elements from there like by using the key uh, 10. So what does it mean is like it is going to return the value which actually it is going to uh, return. So basically it is removed the value white because for the 10th key we have a value white. If you guys see here, um, see it is null. The reason is that it is already deleted that particular element or entry set in the hash table. And after that if I want to print it, so I am just going to print the line. So if you guys see here in the left hand side, only we have 200 equal to black and 100 equal to red. The, the other element was deleted. Now if I want to know the size, let's say d dot size of, if I use the size of um, method, there it is going to tell like what is the size. So currently it is showing as 2 because I have 2 entry set. So entry set is nothing but the combination of key value pair. If you guys see here, 200 is the key, black is the value and 100 is the key and red is the value, right? So the combination of key and value we call it as entry set. And similarly, we have 100 key, 100 equal to red, we have another entry set. So there are two entry set, that is what the size of the dictionary. And here is the another um, method or the logic which we are going to learn now. So basically here what it means is like if I want to iterate over inside the elements inside the dictionary class. So what I can do is if I step it over, if you guys see here, one time it goes inside. So now if I click on one more time, actually it returns 200 because it actually iterates over all the, it is enumerates over all the keys. So right now we have only two two values, right? Two keys and value, 200 equal to black and 100 equal to red. So first time it executed, which means like that is why it is writing, uh, it is printing 200. Again, one more time it will, it will go here internally. Yeah, it goes inside. Yeah, it printed 100 right and then it has to come out of the loop if you guys see here it didn't go inside because it has only two elements and all the two elements has been printed here 200 and 100 and it came out of the loop so this is how actually you know uh, the debugging uh, any java code works so you guys can explore a lot of other options you have uh, while debugging like you want to see how the breakpoints works from where to where you want to debug it and this is the basic way of how we can debug any java code in any uh, you know programming uh, area so I hope you guys can understand this hash table with the dictionary implementation. So you guys can see this and you guys can write the same program and try to uh, run your program in the debug mode and try to see how the elements get stored inside the hash table and how it is actually um, retrieves the data and how it is actually manipulating inside the dictionary class hash table. So I hope you guys have understood the concept. If you guys have any question, please post your comments in the comment section. I will be more than happy to assist. I will see you in the next video guys. Thank you. Bye bye. I hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and I will be more than happy to assist. Keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching I will see you in the next interesting video guys.